Okay, what do you got this week? Uh, we got a whole bunch of new and updated things. So we got two books. First book is Learn Electronics with Arduino. I really like this book. It's really good for beginners. There's a lot of diagrams. It's very well illustrated. It goes nice and slowly. I like the detail that they went into everything. So um, yeah, check out this book. It, it doesn't have, you know, tons and tons and tons of different projects, but the things it does do, it does very, very well. Okay, next up, another book. This is getting started with Microbit from Make. So it's kind of like the first Microbit book that we've seen that we're like, hey, this is kind of a nice book. It mostly covers MicroPython, but people tend to like MicroPython with a Microbit. So I think that's a good way to start. And it also shows you how to use it with Make code and even embed. So if you want to go like really advanced, uh, check that out. Um, MicroPython is kind of what people seem to enjoy using. So I, I thought it was neat that they focused on that. And then don't forget, we have a guide on how you can use your micro bit with Arduino, That's in case right. you're interested. Okay. So this is a good companion for your micro bit go. We have, it's a little bit of a straggler. We put all the other colors of these LED arcade buttons in, and the yellow was not very bright, so I asked the factory to remake them and make them brighter, and they did. And I'm actually kind of happy with them. So uh, these are in the shop now. Can I go to the overhead and I'll show them off? Ooh. That's my drink. So yeah, you can sort of see there's there's an LED behind it, and the LED is um, you know separate from the button. There's two pins for the button, two pins for the LEDs. But it's a nice little arcade you know button. You can use it just like any other arcade button. It you know easily to attach to anything, and uh, you know plug into your arcade controller or or just you have an interface you want to use. And uh, I like the little LED. There you go. Comes with two pieces. Really easy to attach. Use our quick connects or uh, whatever you like. Okay, next up. This is an update, but it's kind of a big update, so I thought I would talk about this. This is the like room starter module kit. It's the ESP32 starter board from Espressif. That this is the board that they made. So a lot of their example code uses this board. This board has been updated. Um, it's pretty much the same, except now instead of the original ESP32 were over, it now has room. It has the were over. Yes, the Rover module, which has uh, an extra four megabytes of PS RAM. So I know people were asking for the PS RAM version of the module. This is it. So it's a little bit bigger because it has that extra chip on there. But uh, as a benefit, I guess you can do more. You can buffer more memory, and it has a, just a ton of memory that you can uh, use for whatever you need. You have the processor power for it. You might as well just buffer everything. Buffer all the data. Yeah, it's got a display on the back, and it's got SD card, and it's got a... Uh, JTAG interface, pinouts, power supply, all the goodies. Okay, next up. This is a pack for the Pi Zero W. So if you want to get a bunch of Pi Zero Ws to use with our OLED bonnet, this is a good pack to get. You get a Pi Zero W, a header you can solder in, our fully assembled OLED bonnet, as nicely demonstrated here. You can display um, small bitmap images. It has a uh, five-way joystick and two buttons as well. Uh, plugs right on top. Really good for making little interfaces or little miniature games. Um, so you get it all in one pack at a discount, and uh, you can pick one up and get started. Okay. All you need is an SD card. Next up. Likewise, we also have a little uh, project pack for the game controller. This is the Joy Bonnet, and it also plugs into a Raspberry Pi Zero W. You can see you can play emulators. The Pi Zero W does a pretty good job emulating, uh, you know, Nintendo and Sega games and MAME games and other sort of basic emulation. And uh, the Joy Bonnet plugs right on top and gives you a whole bunch of fun buttons. It's really easy to use with any emulator, and uh, we have full instructions. So this pack, you get everything. All you need is an SD card and a monitor, and you're ready to rock. Okay. And tonight, the star of the show besides you. Nozzles! I mean, all day say that. Nozzles! Your, your to-do list is done now. Yes, I just wanted to say the word nozzles. Okay. It's a 10-pack nozzle kit for our hot air gun. Uh, we have these hot air stations. They're really wonderful. They come with three nozzles, which is a good start. But it's not a lot of nozzles. Um, and I'll show on the overhead the kind of nozzles you get. So this is, you know, the hot air gun I've got here. And uh, what's nice is it's very really easy to replace the nozzles. You just pull them off as long as it's not hot. And, um, you know, the hot air comes out of here. But if you have these nozzles, um, things are a little bit easier. So, for example, if you're removing 
a QFP, like a four-sided surface mount part, when you put this nozzle on, the, the air only comes out exactly where you want it to in the, in the four slots, and it makes it easier for you to rework a QFP. Or if you have a QFNs, with, you know, they have a, um, a square shape, and then there's the middle pad that's uh, used for heat sinking or ground uh, pad connection. This is much better because it lets you heat up just that square. And one of the things with hot air is they, it works really well, but you want to make sure that you don't heat up things that you aren't meaning to remove because it will just like heat everything. So having really directed um, heat air is important. These are really well made. They're all nicely welded. Um, you get quite a few of them. You get 10 uh, with different sizes. Use the smallest one you can get away with and it'll make your rework a lot easier. So we just have these in a nice pack. Um, I think if you're going to get the hot air rework gun that we stock, um, these nozzles are kind of essential. Okay. Really make it a lot more useful. All right. I'm going to do a... We're going to do a recap. A recap. So what were the new products this week, Lady Ada? Well, we had some wonderful books. Let's start out with the books. We have Learning Electronics with Arduino. This is a lovely graphical book. It's really good for visual learners. We have the Getting Started with Microbit. It's for Microbit with MicroPython, MakeCode, and Embed. Get started with your Microbit. Do everything you want with it. We have a lovely LED arcade button, just like an arcade button, but glowy. We have the new Espressive Warover kit. It comes with an LCD, SD card, and the new Warover module that has four megabytes of PS RAM, so you can get started immediately. We have a Pi Zero W with OLED bonnet pack, so you get everything you see here. A Joy Bonnet pack also comes with a Pi Zero W, so you can play awesome arcade games. Just plug on the Joy Bonnet and game away. And of course, the 10 pack hot air nozzles, QFN, QFPs, small, large, everything will be hot aired just the way you like it with this nozzle kit. Works great with our hot air gun. Good work. And that was the new products for the week.